Hi guys, today we're making strawberry themed keycaps or more specifically polymer clay keycap models like my previous earth dowsy one that I then turned into a resin keycap. So I already sketched out a couple designs. Some of them will incorporate these cute pre-made strawberries with the typical boxy keycap mold, but all of that is going to be shown in the next video. This week we'll be turning a few of these sketches into clay models. So if you want to see how I make them, stick around. Let's start by cleaning our hands and work surface. Then tape a piece of paper onto our desk so we can trace out the size that our keycap needs to be. After warming up the clay, we're going to roll it into a ball shape to see roughly how big it'll be. Mine was fine, but if yours isn't quite filling up the square, now's a good time to add a little more or pinch some off if it's too big. Then with our fingers and a flat sided tool, I'm just using a metal ruler, we're going to shape it into a cube that tapers out towards the bottom like how keycaps normally are. However, keep in mind that we're making a bunny right now so we don't want the edges super sharp. Instead, we're intentionally smoothing out the top corners so we can morph him, our, our son, so we can morph our son into a proper chunky boy. Now taking equal amounts of clay, and we really don't need a lot, we're gonna make his ears. So to do this, we're forming two little teardrop shapes that have been flattened and placing them a little bit away from the edge. I'm making his face where the slope starts so he can look at me over the sea of keycaps. <laughs> then with my handy dandy tool, I'm gonna smooth down the edges to attach his ears in place. Now let's roll a little ball to attach as his pom-pom tail. <laughs> and he's looking cuter than ever. I tried giving him a teeny weeny nose, but it just never looked right. He looked he looked British for some reason. <laughs> so I decided to switch it up and not include it in the end, but you'll see that later. Here's me making the strawberry that'll sit on top of his head. So to make the strawberry, we're going to pinch the polymer clay into a triangle and measure if it fits in between the space of his ears. I'm going to cast the strawberry separately in resin, so I will not be attaching it to his body, and this just makes it easier to prevent the colors from mixing when it comes time to doing the resin. Then with a dotting tool or a toothpick, we're going to give him some eye indents that I'll fill in with black resin at the very end. Now we're going to roll two little semicircles that we'll be using as his little feet. I tried his nose again, but this time also as an indent, and it still looks weird to me, so I played around with it and this is what he looks like now. No nose, all mouth. It's cute though. Okay, moving on, we're gonna make our strawberry cat. Similar to the bunny, we need to make a square-ish base that tapers off towards the top, and we still want those soft edges, just not as round, because we're not making a chunky body this time, we're just working on his face. So for our cat, we're making two triangular shapes for his ears, and using the spatula to attach them on, and also to smooth down the edges. And then I made two spheres and flattened them to make his eyes. It just depends on personal preference whether you want his eyes to pop out or to sink in. I'm, I'm not sure why I made this one pop out but the bunny sink in, but as long as it looks cute, I'm good with it. Now we're attaching the tiniest dot you ever did see as his nose. With the spatula, I just squished it down and shaped it into an upside down triangle. Now we're making his mouth by rolling out a very thin line cutting it to size and shaping it into a U shape before placing it down. Do the same thing for the other side and with a needle or a dotting tool, push it around until it looks about right. Now we're gonna give him two whiskers on each side, so four in total. Now let's give him some tiny arms to beg for strawberries <laughs> or to give your finger a hug. Yeah, so I just made two ovals and flattened them down on the outer edges and following the same steps as before, I'll be making tiny strawberry for my cat to hold. I don't think I showed how to make the top, so I'll just explain it here. So I made an oval and placed it on the flat side of the strawberry. Sorry, I'm a bit out of frame, but all I'm doing is making two slits to create three bumps that will be the leaves or the crown on the strawberry. Now it's time to test if he can hold it. And it is a little too big, so I'm just gonna widen his arms a bit more and then try again. Ta-da! Perfect fit! So here's our chonky bunny and our kitty both side by side holding their strawberries. And the next one is going to be our last animal I'll be making for this strawberry keycap set. I was debating whether or not to make a strawberry cow keycap because I know they already exist and I've seen people selling them online, but they're all slightly different, so I'll be making my version of the strawberry cow today. So let's start off by making the base same as before. We'll be giving him some horns and squish them down into place. And then we'll give him some floppy ears that extend a little outwards. Then we attach his eyes the same way as we did with the cats, to make his nose, we'll just need a flattened oval shape and using a dotting tool, give him some nostrils. 
Now he's almost done, we're just gonna make him some heart shaped spots. I'm gonna place two very thin hearts on his cheeks as if he's wearing blush. And I'll place a few more randomly here and there. And now he's done! Using the same concept as before, I'll just make a couple bigger strawberries and also a plate by stacking a bigger circle over a smaller one and just using my fingers to give it a slight curve. Now that everything's done, I'll bake them in the oven to let them harden and voila! I have my keycap models. This is all I have for you guys today, but next week I'll be casting them in resin. So if you're interested in seeing the final results and want to know how they look with color, give this video a like and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on next week's video. Thanks for watching, bye!